Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I am on the road at the moment, hence the different setup. But nonetheless, I wanted to stay true to that commitment that I said of a new video every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So today I'm going to be showing you the easiest, um, not easy, notice how it says not easy dropshipping strategy in 2023. The reason why I want to put an emphasis on it not being easy is because um, I like to be as transparent as possible and give you a realistic um, perception of what it is to run a business and running a business is far from easy otherwise we would all be very very wealthy of course however for the beginner getting started in drop shipping this video is for those people those people who have been watching videos on youtube they want to get started but they don't really know where to start or what strategy to use so if you are one of these people people if you are one of these people, make sure you stay tuned and watch the video um, all the way through to the end. OK, so the way I want to start this video is by showing you the CPM, the cost per meal. So basically, that's how much it costs on Facebook to put your ad in front of 1000 people. Um, and this is the breakdown of costs per country. The reason I want to show you this is because the hardest thing, in my opinion, when it comes to drop shipping is competition. The more competition there is out there, the more people out there competing for the same audience selling the same products, the harder it's going to become to become successful. You have to, when the competition is higher, you have to do other things to separate yourself. You have to use things like original content, which costs extra money. You have to brand your product, which costs extra money. By doing all of those extra things, you increase the risk of the business that you're starting. Or at least in my opinion, you are removing some of the advantages of dropshipping. And one of the biggest advantages to dropshipping is that it is a super cheap, super quick and super easy to get business to get started in. So by following this strategy that I'm going to take you through you can still take advantage of those advantages so the reason i want to show you this screenshot this is taken from statista as well a reliable source so you guys can go and check it out yourselves um, just to validate this basically the reason i want to show you this is because the us as it says here on facebook is the most expensive place to advertise in the world it's also one of the most competitive places to drop ship in the world in fact it is the most competitive place to drop ship in the world so if you are trying to drop ship a product and advertise it on Facebook and sell it and advertise it in the US, then you are fighting an uphill battle to illustrate how powerful this is. If we take a look at US, it has a um, CPM of 35. If we compare this to, say, France, that has a CPM of 11, roughly 30 percent of the cost. So if you are advertising in the US for every 1000 people you reach, I can reach 3000 people in, in France for the same amount of money. And that is drastically, that is gonna have a significant and absolutely ginormous effect on your bottom line because the biggest expense for any dropshipping business will be what your advertising costs are. So taking that into account, my advice is going to be to avoid the United States. And with that being said, let's get into the strategy. So step one is going to be using a tool called Minia to find a winner in the US. If you're not familiar with Minia, basically it works like this. If we go back to the dashboard, you can enter different parameters, criteria. I have a full 10 to 15 minute tutorial on how to get the most out of this tool. So I'm not going to bore you um, in this video, but it allows you to find very quickly drop shipping ads that have traction, that have success. And then what you can also do is you can save them to your list. So I have a list called winners and I have this particular Facebook ad here. If I open up the product on Facebook so you can see exactly what a winning product in my opinion looks like. Once this loads up, what we're going to be looking at is the amount of engagements, which we can see here is over 5,000, over 1,600 comments and over 1,000 shares. And if we have a look at what people are saying, we have Susie here. This works great. Karen, I bought this. Jim, I got one. Works great. I need one. Great news. Got one of these, my Bernie's Mountain Dog. Basically, it's just a significant amount of positive comments from people who have bought the product and been happy with the product. That way you kind of almost guaranteeing that you have found a winner. The next thing you want to do, and the reason why you want to use Minia, not only does it take you to those winners super, super quickly, but you can also see what audience country. So we can see this particular product is only being sold in the United States. So we have a winning product that is a validated winner and it's validated that it's working in the United States. So what we're going to do is move on to step two, which is we're going to start selling it in a high proficiency, an English high proficiency country with low CPM. That way we're going to be selling it in a country where 
ads are very cheap so we can reach lots of people for a low cost and of course if there's not many advertisers there the chances are they won't have seen this product before either so there'll be less drop shipping competition as well now if you wonder what high english proficiency is it's basically how um capable a country is of speaking and writing in the english language so i've got this link here which will take you to the global rankings of countries and regions and what we're going to do basically is just go straight to the very high proficiency score countries um, and we'll compare these against what the cpms are from statista.com so number one if we go for the netherlands and if we go back to our screenshot and have a look where netherlands is on this level we can see it's not even in this top um, section which must make it below a five which basically means it's 15 percent of the cost of the us that is a significant advantage to have when you're trying to drop ship a product in the netherlands if you don't want to sell in a particular country that's fine you can go back to list and work your way down try and stick to european countries rather than the kind of far eastern countries so i would probably skip singapore just because i'm not sure what the postal service is like over there but austria is fine norway's fine denmark's fine belgium sweden finland portugal germany all of these are fine in fact portugal the postal system there can be a bit dodgy sometimes so stick to kind of mainland europe and you'll be good to go so up to this point we have our validated winner that we know is selling well in the us um, we know which country we're going to be selling it in so step three is a couple of different things so we've got two options option number one is to build a store in english which is very straightforward and probably most people can do if you're watching this video um, number two is to build a store in the native language of the country that you're going to be selling in it's harder but it is much 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 more effective because people will feel at home shopping on a website that is written and speaking in the same language as their native language moving through to step four then what we're going to do is if you do decide to build your store in english and try that and see if it works out for you and it doesn't then what you can do if you don't do it from the get-go from the very beginning is you can use an app like transi which will actually translate your Shopify store. So if I just open you this up um, and show you what Transy looks like. So this is Transy, it uses AI to translate your Shopify store. There is a free plan available. Um, it's the highest rated, so it will give you the most accurate results. However, in the next step, I'll show you how we can make sure we've got a perfectly translated store. Basically what this will do is shortcut the process and make it cheaper when we get onto the next step. Moving on to that next step, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hire a native speaker to proofread our Shopify store. Um, and our ads so if we come on to fiverr just to kind of illustrate i'll give you an example of the costs again one of the advantages to drop shipping being low risk it doesn't cost much money to get started and that's true with this strategy as well so if we just go through some of these gigs um, on fiverr we can see they start from like five pounds nine pounds five pounds 13 pounds five nine so you're probably looking somewhere in around 10 to 20 pounds depending on how many products you're selling how much content of course you need them to translate and what they'll be able to do is essentially just go through your shopify store and make sure that everything has been translated in the sense that a native speaker would write it and then that way when people when your customers are coming onto your store they feel at home because they'll be able to spot from a mile away a store that has just been translated using an ai so if we just do a quick recap from this point we have our value dated winner that we know is selling well in the US. We've picked our country that has a high English proficiency so we know they can understand English very very well if we want to go down the easier route or number two we're going to simply get that store translated using an app in a matter of a few clicks. Then we're going to hire a native speaker for about 10 to 20 pounds that will proofread the Shopify store, proofread the ads you've created to make sure it's written like a native would write it and then the sixth and final step um, is to hire a native speaker to voice over the ads as well. Again, you may be thinking, well, that's gonna cost a lot of money. Here we are on Fiverr, some top gigs, 34 pounds, 22 pounds, 17 pounds. It's a worthwhile investment because again, it will be unique and original to your business and it will instantly make your customers feel safe and at home because they will know that they're shopping with a store that is native to their country. And to give you an example, you can get them, in fact, some don't think you'll be able to hear that um, but basically it's super easy you can come up the top here so swedish is one i've worked with before in the past but you can do a german voiceover and again the prices are very similar 17 pounds nine pounds five pounds all you need to do as well is go into chat gpt and say write a 30 second script selling this product send it to these guys in fact what i do is i'll bring up chat gpt to show you exactly how to do that so here we are in chat gpt so if you don't want to write the script yourself because you're inexperienced um, or whatever it may be, we can get ChatGBT to do it for us. So we can simply report, write 30 second script for 
a Facebook ad video selling a, oh, in fact, let's use that previous product as an example, selling a um, water jet attachment or selling a hose attachment used for washing your dog. Let's see what it comes up with. Team one, a cheerful dog owner. So we can probably ignore that because we're not going to be creating content to match because we want something easier to get started. But what we can use is this narration. So introducing the poor spa deluxe, the ultimate hose attachment for stress free dog bathing. We can skip through this with its gentle shower head and adjustable settings. The poor spa deluxe ensures a comfortable bathing experience for your furry friend. So it really doesn't get any easier than that. You, it really requires minimal brain power. You can just copy and paste this into a Google Doc, send it across to the voice actor. And for 20 or 30 pounds, you have a professional and original video ad that is native to the country that you're going to be selling in. And like I said at the beginning, this is hands down the easiest dropshipping strategy for anybody looking to get started. And if you've tried dropshipping before and you've failed like 99% of people have, it's because 99% of people go for one of these top tier, super expensive countries. And like I said at the beginning, it's just going to be an uphill battle. And so with that being said, that is for today's video. I hope you guys have stuck with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions on any of this, anything I can help you get started with, just post it down below. I read every single comment so I will get back to you. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe so you can see my next video on Wednesday. Cheers.